Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Megan. I am a quarantine induced soap maker and today I'm going to be continuing my Harry Potter inspired soap theme and I'll be making the Gryffindor house today. So I have already mixed up my soap batter, which is oils and lye water, and I will be soon splitting it into two vessels here. I added my scent already and it is called Australian Bamboo Grass from Nature's Garden. It is quite a masculine scent so I figured it would do well for Gryffindor. Since it's all about, you know, strength and whatnot, blah blah blah, it's a, it's a really nice scent. I can't describe it because I'm not good at describing scents, but it's good. It's good. The colors I'm going to be using today are Spicy Tomato from Mad Micah's and King Tut. There's not a whole lot of King Tut left, so I'm going to be supplementing it with something else. But is this such a Gryffindor color? Like, does this not scream Gryffindor to you? So now that the color's been added, I plan to do a gold drop into the red. So more, most of it will be red and there will be a smaller amount of gold. So I'm going to pour off what I want for gold. Now it really doesn't matter that there's some soap in here already. The soap that was in here previous wasn't scented, so that won't really affect. That looks good. Won't really affect the makeup of it, mostly just color, but I'm going to be adding more, so it really shouldn't matter. So I'm going to add what little tiny bit I have left of my King Tut. I need to buy more. Oh, it's so sad. It doesn't smell like anything. I don't know why I smelled it. But I'm going to be supplementing it with a little sampler that I have from Brambleberry, this gold sparkle mica. It's a nice color. This one is a bit more of a coppery, while well, this is more of a yellow, but I think it'll look nice. I'm going to do about half a teaspoon or so. And for the red, clean off my spoon here, and I'm going to do about a teaspoon of this red. Oh, I love this red. And we shall see where this gets us here. What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I It's okay that we change But it feels kind of strange that you're not in my life You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone You're the only love that I've ever known But we turn into a flower that never One more time, one more time I should have told you that I loved you One more time, one more time, one more time I should have told you that I loved you every night Oh, that's on my mind I should have told you that I loved you Would you have stayed if I had been honest with you from the start? Don't say it's okay if I'm falling and you're running away. You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone. Oh. 
All right, so I'm going to start by filling this about half with the red here, maybe a little less. Yeah, about there. And then from a medium height or so, I'm going to drop in this here. Down and back and down and back. All right. And now the red, I'm going to come up way high. So I'm going to start up way high. Here. And I'm going to zigzag this here. going to leave that bit in there for now. I'm going to scrape out the red. Get all this extra bits in there. Now I'll scrape all of this. Oh, I got a good amount. I like that. Okay. And I'm going to drizzle along the top here. I am going to I'm going to swirl this top here so it doesn't really need to be perfect. Just want to get this last bit. Oh. Okay, now I'm going to take my chopstick here and just do a nice, like a figure eight style. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Okay. So in the attempt to prevent it from ashing, I'm going to spritz it with rubbing alcohol here. I, it doesn't, I don't know, sometimes I get ashing, sometimes I don't. It kind of, I feel like it just depends on the mood of the soap. And soap definitely has a mind of its own. So I'm going to try to generously spritz it with rubbing alcohol and hopefully it doesn't ash. But we will come back in probably 48 hours or so to cut it. Um, I like to cut a little later if I can because then it doesn't get so sticky because sometimes if I unmold too soon it's like super not cured enough obviously because it's not hard enough. Um, so let me get to spritz in here. This doesn't uh, have a nice mist. Alright we are spritzed and I will see you in about 48 hours. All right, everybody, we are back, and I have a confession to make. I messed with this soap a lot after I turned the camera off, and the top is not the same as it was when we left. Also, the soap did lighten a lot, which I don't love. 
So let's just unmold it and see what happens. I'm, I'm hopeful that this turned out, but I'm worried that it's not going to translate because of how light that this got. I should have known what happened. Here we are. So let's get our out of the mold. how soft it still is even though it's been many days. you think down below if you'd like to purchase this soap or any others that have available the link will be down below you can follow me on Instagram also linked down below and I will see you guys in the next one